Hello, hello, hello. We got Kenny Evans here, another car video. So, what is good and how are y'all doing? So, I'm doing great, feeling good, you know, and I'm enjoying this day. But the title of this video is How to Deal with Haters. Obviously, this is a video that goes across all aspects of life, um, not just in dating. But uh, with people in general in your life, you know, and knowing how to handle these people, your haters is very important to having a very happy life and stress free life. So this is a, a video that you guys could take for the rest of your life. You know, what I mean, and again, in all aspects of your life. So I'm going to get into this here in a very important concept. You always got to remember because as much as we like to believe haters are people who they seem so confident or that they're got it all together in reality and this is a very important thing to always remember about people who hate on you or other people they come from a place of insecurity and it is very important that you understand that because if these people were so confident, they wouldn't be worrying about you. They would live their lives and do what makes them happy. That doesn't affect you. Because they would understand what it feels like to be in that situation. But because either they've been, you know, a victim of haters or bullying, they, out of their own insecurity have to put it on somebody else so they can get just a glimpse just a glimpse of, of of relief or pleasure but it never lasts because they always come from a place of being empty you know and never being full that's what confidence is when you have confidence you feel good about yourself you don't have to put other people down or hate on other people to feel better because you already feel good you know so that is something very important to remember Haters come from a place of insecurity. Hater bullies, whatever you want to call them, they come from a place of insecurity. You know. Um, but next, the people who hate on you, bully you, they are actually obsessed with you. I know you'd be like, what? How could they be obsessed with me? But they're bullying me or they're hating on me. Because they are still paying attention to you. Of course, if they did not like you or if they did not want to have anything to do with you, they would leave you alone. And I get it. Some of you still like, what? But how? What? But, but they're still, you know, they're, they're, they're hating on me and show me all this, this disrespect or bullying me. But it's because they find something in value of you that they don't have and they don't know how to express it. And still feel good about themselves. There's maybe something that you're going through. That if they were going through it. They would be miserable. And so they expect you to be miserable. But when you don't show it. Or if you do. It proves their point. But if you don't. Then it shows. Whoa. There's something special about you. That they don't have. Or. If you do don't show it initially. They want you to show that you're different and that you would handle a situation better than them because them hating on you, that's what they would expect. If uh, they were you, they would expect somebody to hate on them and bully them and then they would act like you're acting if you don't do anything or if you, you take it, you know, and you ex and you just kind of succumb to it. That it, They're pretty much showing you how they would be in... If they were you in uh, in, the, in the reverse situation, if that makes sense, you know, so pretty much if you or if they're bullying you, that is a representation of how they would be if they were getting bullied. You know, if you just kind of cowering and you don't really stand up for yourself, that's how they would be. You know, what I mean, so they expect you to do more than they would. You know, and that shows how come how obsessed they are. And it's crazy, kind of reverse psychology, but it's really they want you to show them how to be more confident. 
You know, and I know it's a, it's a strange way to look at it, but that's their, their sense of insecurity. They expect everybody to be like them, you know, so they, they just kind of treat everybody the same. Yeah, uh, but then again here they treat you how they feel about themselves and this again kind of reflects back to you know they come from an insecure place you know and because they feel so bad they're going to treat you bad you know because again if they were more confident and they had uh, uh, good feelings about themselves they would treat people better you could only give what you have if you have confidence and peace and love, you're going to give confidence, peace and love. But if you have insecurity, anger, uh, 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 jealousy, envy, you're going to give insecurity, anger, jealousy, ang ang uh, and envy. That is just a part of life. You cannot give what you don't have. And that is very important to understand. These haters, it's not because of you, regardless of how you look, how you act. If these people were confident and they felt good about themselves, they would accept you for who you are. They may not be your friend. They might not, might not ever hang out with you, but they will not make you miserable because of how you act or how you look. you got to always keep that in mind. There's nothing wrong with you if you're getting hated on or bullied. There's something wrong with the hater or the bully, you know? And we never know what's going on in people's lives or for why they, how come, what makes them feel the way they feel and what makes them have to express that, 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 that negativity, but realize it's never because of you, you know? So definitely very important to keep in mind. But then here. Another very important point is these haters actually expect you to treat them how they treat you secretly. And this is another kind of reverse psychology kind of thing. But you got to understand. They expect everybody to be like them. So they expect if they are going to be bullying somebody or hating on somebody, they expect that person to go back at them. Because that's just the, the energy they give. They expect you to be insecure because they're insecure. You know? And that's why, that's the reason why some people, when you go at them and, and then you ignore them or you fight back, that they gain, you, they, they gain respect for you because you show them that you're not like them. And again, that goes back to where they expect you to be better than them. You know, it's kind of weird because, sure, at the same time, they, they want to see if you're better than them. But at the same time, they want to see if you'll treat them how they treat the, uh, how how, how um, they treat you. Because they're like, whoa, they expect everybody to feel like they feel. Most of the world feels like everybody's the same. But if you've been living on Earth for uh, about a good couple of years, you know, that's not true. People are different. Not everybody responds to the same things the same way. People are different, but these haters and bullies, they expect if you, they bully you, you're going to have to go back and forth and then back and forth, and then they feel important. They feel important like that, you know? And, and, and they feel like you're just like them. You're on the same level, you know? And therefore, they, 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 they won, you know what I mean? And again, we have this last one here. Um, and none of these are in any particular order, but it's very important. You should never, and I repeat, don't ever stoop to a bully's level or a hater's level. You always have to be the bigger person. And I get it. Sometimes it's easier said than done. It truly is. Especially when you're, you're angry and you're upset, but... That is part of the problem. If you're getting to that point where you have or you feel the need to respond, that means you didn't handle the situation uh, ahead of time uh, fast enough. You know, and I get it. Most of it is mental. When you understand this stuff where somebody's they're coming from a place of insecurity that they really secretly want to be like you. 
You know what I mean? Or they're jealous of you. But essentially, you're they see you as higher than them. You are higher than them. That's the reason they want to bring you down to their level. Because you are higher than them. They see you as better than them and above them. Whether it's how you look, how you act, whatever it is that you may have or your personality. They see, they secretly want you to be better or they secretly see you as better, you know? So you should never, ever stoop down to a hater or a bully's level because now you're no better than them, you know? And I get it again. It, it's easier said than done at times, but you got to always keep in mind where they are and how they see you, you know? And, and, and if you, if you have to leave, leave. You know, tell people, you know, teach you or stop dealing with those people. You know, whether you have to block them online or you stop associating them. There's many ways you could um, handle a hate or a bully before you have to uh, confront them. And, and, you know, whether it's fighting or even going back to their level. If they keep on badgering you and keep on badgering, you never leave you alone no matter what you do. Sure, you got to do what you got to do. But even then, after that. Find an exit route. Find a way to get away from them. You know, so um, again, we gotta we 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 strong, confident men, and we 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 don't do what weak, insecure haters uh, men do. We don't do that stuff. You know what I mean? So we gotta be better because we expect better. You know, so well, that's all I got for y'all today. You know, uh, if you join the video. If you really enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button. Let me know what else you would like me to talk about here on my channel. You know, and uh, of course, if you find value in the video, I appreciate all donations. You know what I mean? And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Learned a lot from it. Apply what you learned here in this video because it'll help you have a better life. You know what I mean? But until next week, stay safe and I will see y'all then. Peace.